Hi folks, um, my name's Bruno, Bruno Mella. I'm a friend of Jack Chaplin's. Um, used to work with Jack in Atlanta, um, quite a few other places. I he came on board there as a banquet chef and ended up in the gourmet dining room. At the moment, um, I'm visiting back here in New London, doing a Mediterranean lamb dish and also uh, an Italian dish. Uh, Con pepper. Um, start off with the lamb. Uh, I'm going to marinate a uh, piece of lamb, and that will be done with oregano, rosemary, onion, and uh, trim it down. Don't get rid of too much fat because it's um, it's uh, it adds to the flavor. It's seasoned, and then it's uh, like a peasant dish. Really, it's basically done with. Um, Basically done with uh, oregano, lemon juice, onion, potatoes, fresh garlic, splash white wine, and then you marinate that and then into the oven. We're going to cook it in the pizza oven for about an hour, and then we'll serve with some zucchini and a little pasta. So cut the lamb into into nice pieces, and then we part them in the, in a dish in a stainless bowl. Sorry and marinate it. This is a nice piece of lamb. And also a little, um, I forgot, also a little cinnamon, salt and black pepper. And that will add to a nice flavor. And this is an easy dish to do at home or, you know, for a Sunday, for a Sunday lunch, Sunday brunch. Very simple piece of cake. Okay, now we've got the lamb, we're going to add the lemon juice, minus the pits if you can. If not, just take them out. We don't want someone choking on those. And this will add nice, nice flavor to the lamb. It break it down. The acidity, very good. And then we'll add the herbs, oregano. Rosemary, and I need some white wine, please. One of you guys, vino bianco, Abby, poco vino, white wine, man. Doesn't have uh, some nice oregano, um, rosemary, always good with lamb. And. Uh, A little bit of cinnamon, which is really cool. That'll give it up. Just a little bit of cinnamon. And then some olive oil. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Oil. And I'm waiting for Harvey on the white wine. Right, salt and pepper. There we go. Now, that'll be beautiful. Now what we do is you actually marinate the potatoes in with that. Gracias Javier, the number one, the zero. You can smell that, it's really good. Let's take the potatoes and we kind of wedge them, throw them in, like peasant style, it's not anything uh, Plenty of potatoes, and that makes it actually make the dish go round further. You can add other things to it, artichokes. I'm gonna add a few tomatoes, and they'll break down. The potato, the lamb is um, really uh, tender, so it won't take long, and it won't. If you want to have mashed potatoes um, when you're doing this, it'll all come out pretty cool. Uh, you can serve this with a nice little pasta. I'm marinating that now. And that should be really, really cool. Maybe a bit more salt and pepper. And the lemon juice will stop the potatoes going black. You know, the liquid in that. That'd be nice. Okay, now, as well as the potato, 
I put in a little um, onion, gives it a nice bit of flavor. And it'll be, uh, it's actually like a Mediterranean boulanger, only we're not slicing the potatoes. Boulanger, you, you don't use lamb. And, um, oops, potatoes that are sliced. And then um, lay it on the top, and then they, and then they cook, which is, um, they're cooked, you know, by the time, and then you get a nice crispy crust on the top. This is a little, it's more like a stew or a casserole. Beautiful. Now we let that, put a little bit of tomato. This is heirloom from Uncle Bob's garden. Our cameraman here and producer. He throws them out the back of his backyard. Right, Bob? Oh, yeah. All the time. Brings them in and do them. Right, now, we've got that beautiful dish. Stevie, would you do me a big favor, honey? Yes, sir. Or babe? <laughs> you just cover that to me in the cling film. I'm going to shove that. Here we go. So that's going to be coming in cling film and put in the, uh, put in the refrigerator probably for about half an hour and then we're gonna um, cook that up right now that lamb has been in the uh, marinating now for about an hour so we'll take that out or the day before, let it cool, and then just pop it in the oven, make it with some orzo pasta or whatever you need, rice, and then serve it, you know, serve it up the next day or that evening. Do this um, rounding off little at a time, and then we're whacking in the casserole. Or Dutch ovenish, whatever you want to call it. The shop is picking up still. So we're almost finished now doing the uh, searing the lamb and getting it um, cool, and then we're going to whack that in the old uh, Dutch oven. Right, we've seared all the lamb. Potatoes, the onions, all the fresh herbs, garlic. Now we're going to have a splash of uh, Napoli sauce, which is like a tomato sauce. It's going to be uh, just a panic. We're going to heat that up, and then we're going to pour it over. We're going to put this baby in the uh, pizza oven. Okay, now take some zucchini, yellow squash, carrots. You can use any uh, Italian veg. Put those into the sauce. A nice, uh, a nice heating up there, and then that will go over the lamb, and then we'll put that in the oven, as I said. And then, yes, you've really got your complete dish. You have your potatoes, your vegetables, your, your, your lovely soft tender lamb. It's all seasoned together, so you get all the flavors. So when you take it out of the oven, the potatoes, the vegetables have got that lovely lamb flavor with all the, the lemon juice, white wine, and, of course, the Mediterranean herbs. Okay, now we pour that over the lamb. Put that in the sink, please. Uh, a little bit more salt and pepper. And that's it. Now we're going to take that round and put it in Stevie's oven. Put some foil on. That's it, let's put it in the oven. I'm going to put this in the oven. Put the chicken dish. Put our potatoes. 
All right, Big B, we ready? Yeah, let's go. I, I got I got my tools. Okay, let's go. Uh, I didn't show up when it's very easy. I know that, yeah. Okay, man. Oh, here's a lamb finished. Oh, look at that. Huh? So you've got the, the salmon, uh, the veg Mediterranean vegetables with uh, the lamb, oregano, potatoes, lovely little juice. The juice will be white wine. Nice. Well, that's tremendous. There you go. Now, what do you call this? Uh, from what region do you think this is from? Well, Mediterranean. Mediterranean, Greece, Italy. What Greek with the with the lamb and the vegetables? But like I said, it's like a bull and chair, but a, 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 you know an Italian version of bull and chair. It's like a Greek, uh, what do they call it, Navarin? Navarin yeah, Navarin land. land. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lemon. The lemon. The garlic comes through. Awesome. Yeah, taste that lemon. It's good. I like that broth. Mm. That was done for about an hour in the oven, but you could do that. Probably take Even a little bit longer. Yeah, you know? yeah. And well, that's perfect. Now, reheat that to order. Yeah, so serve in a regular oven. Two hours, two and a quarter. That was done in a pizza oven. What's it, Steve? What do you say that? Degrees what, Steve? The oven? About 800. 800 degrees, which you wouldn't have that oven at home. Thanks, folks. So give us the rundown real quick again what you got in here. Okay, you got lamb. And the cut of lamb you bought was? Uh, what top round. Top round of lamb. Trimmed, sliced, marinated with oil. Oregano, lemon juice, white wine, rosemary, tomato. tomato, garlic, and then the wedges of potato. Tossed and left in the fridge for an hour, taken out, sauteed, colored, put in the, in the, in the uh, casserole, splash more wine, and in the oven. Oh, awesome. And you can serve that with also pasta, little pastina. My main man, Bruno, right here, Bruno G. Mella. We've been working together in Atlanta. Where else? We work together in, uh, down in Texas, Texas. Uh, up here in Connecticut, and I'm uh, going to open his own restaurant over in England, in Harlow, Old Essex, Old Harlow in Essex. Essex Bruno's Trattoria. Bruno saw me today. He was born, he grew up in that town. People come in, nothing like going home, your friends, your family come, you know, that you go back, you got a friend comes in every day, you go back, what, 40 years, you said? Yeah, Dave comes in every day, Yeah, and uh, we have coffee and shoot the breeze, it's awesome. But all, all, always so great to see good friends, Bruno. He hired me in Atlanta when I was down and out. Gave me the opportunity, man, that's, what, that's a real friend. But anyway, this is excellent, Bruno. So glad you got to Thanks. come. All right, man. All right.